Okay, so now that we're familiar with how the clips work, let's just quickly break down the difference between MIDI clips and audio clips. So the MIDI clip that we just created, uh, we're able to place notes directly inside of the clip. We started off by creating a blank MIDI clip by simply double clicking inside of a blank MIDI clip slot. That's something that's not possible with an audio clip. You can't create a blank audio clip. The only way you can kind of fake that is if you take an audio clip and simply turn the volume of that clip all the way down then it's more or less blank, but you can't just create a blank audio clip from scratch. I'm gonna reset this to its default. Volume is selected, I will hit delete, there we go. Now, the other things with the MIDI clips that are different, uh, we have the ability, again, we saw to reverse or invert the individual notes, uh, and we can manipulate individual notes, where in an audio clip, you can't necessarily do that. Although we will see, once we dive a bit more into warping, there are ways around that. Um, and we also have the ability to stretch the individual notes uh, to duplicate the loop. Uh, now up here, we have the divide by two and the multiply by two button. And we saw that in our audio clip as well. We have the divide by two and multiply by two. Now the big difference is that when we're dealing with an audio clip, this is talking about the tempo of the entire clip. When we're looking at a MIDI clip, this option divide by two or multiply by two is talking about whatever note is currently selected. So for instance, let's say I select this note. This note is currently resting between two of the grid lines, and as we established, the current grid is set to 16th notes. So this note must be 1 16th note long. If I go over to my MIDI clip properties here and I hit the times two button, it's going to multiply the length of that clip by two. So now instead of it being 1 16th note, it's the length of two 16th notes, which is the same as 1 8th note. All right, now if I undo that, and let's say I select all of these. Now I have four notes selected. I will hold uh, click multiply by two. And now we can see the length of all those notes as well as the duration of that selection of notes has been multiplied by two. The notes aren't overlapping, okay? So if I undo that, you see each one plays for a 16th note then the next one plays by multiplying that by two, each one plays for an eighth note and then the next one plays. Okay, so those are some very unique things that we can do with the MIDI clips. Uh, but similarities, we have the option to loop. We have a loop brace here. Okay, we can affect that loop brace by either uh, hovering over the end or the beginning of it and adjusting it accordingly. Or we can go down to our loop properties here and adjust the position and the length. Now, if we go to our audio clip, the main difference with the audio clip is that we have the ability to warp the audio. All right. And warping when it comes to manipulating audio is one of Ableton Live's strongest features, uh, something that a lot of people seek this program out for. And it's personally one of my favorite things to do with Ableton Live is to take audio, warp it, mangle it, and manipulate it. And that's probably the biggest difference between the audio clips and the MIDI clips is that there's no warping of MIDI, all right? So let's check out a couple different ways we can approach creatively warping without diving too deep into it.